<laughs> What's up, Tweak Town? What's up, Tech for Gamers? <laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good or excellent. What? <laughs> What's up, gamers? Look, what if Rocksteady had made Spider-Man? What if Rocksteady would have made uh, Spider-Man? You're like, huh? What? Hmm. And what if WB would have done Superman? Hmm. You're like, huh? What? Okay, you're like, okay, what are you talking about? Okay, listen to this. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Listen to this. Hey, listen to this. It says you're... Uh, Activision almost bought Time Warner. We did turn down their we did turn their IPs into games. Says here, uh, Activision Blizzard CEO Kote confirmed that the company was ready to buy Time Warner if AT&T deal fate fell through, and the capital was ready to go. Mm. Says here, uh, Activision Blizzard was ready to buy Time Warner and adapt its wealth of intellectual properties in a grand transmedia strategy company company CE company CEO tell variety hmm. says here uh, at, at one time Activision Blizzard CEO and board of directors had a monumental vision that would have utterly transformed its business into an entertainment entertainment empire hmm. that's not to say Activision isn't already an empire Eight separate billion dollar franchises, including the 31 billion Call of Duty, beg to differ. And it says here, the plan went beyond games, though. Activision went to do something more along the lines of cross adaptation strategies that Sony is employing between its PlayStation Studios and PlayStation Picture Unit. Complete with Marvel Spider Man licensing thrown in, Activision Blizzard was ready to buy Time Warner. If, get this, 85 billion AT&T deal offer fell through with the main goal of massive IP expansion. <laughs> Says here, we did take the IP and turned it into games. They take our IP and turned it into films and television. And we'd have an extraordinary company. Kotick said in a recent interview with Variety. And then it says, uh, Time Warner had some of the largest IPs on the planet, including those wholly owned by DC Comics. That includes household names like, get this, Batman and Spider-Man. Activision Blizzard would effectively own a significant portion of the most popular franchise on the planet, as well as multiple video game studios like NetherRealms, WB, uh, Montreal, and Rocksteady help continue the content creation and then it says uh, Activision Blizzard is typically been very careful transmedia uh, plans however the Warcraft uh, films successful run in overseas box office could be an eye-opener for more films and of series a adaptation of big uh, brands and let's see here anything else did I miss something here uh, That's it. So yeah, what if Rocksteady would have uh, made uh, Spider-Man? <laughs> have you played Batman Arkham Asylum? Okay. Have you played Arkham City? Okay. What about Arkham Knight? Okay. <laughs> what if What if Rocksteady would have made uh, Spider-Man? Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, we sitting here t talking about the Microsoft uh, sixty eight point seven billion dollar deal for Activision Blizzard hmm. but 85 billion would be a bigger number so Activision would have had a um, like what, what it says uh, uh, it says it says here that the company would have uh, owned like eight different IP eight billion dollar IPs that would have been a powerhouse hmm. so if Microsoft bought, let's say Activision bought Time Warner, right? Okay. Uh, bought at for, bought it for $85 billion, right? Okay. Hmm. That means when it comes to Activision, uh, if Microsoft would have, would have tried to uh, buy Activision, 
along with with Time Warner and AT and T included, they would have spent they would have spent triple the amount, triple the amount of uh, of what they paid. That's like sixty eight point seven billion multiplied by uh, three. <laughs> yeah, something to think about, man. Um, eighty. I mean, sixty eight point seven billion is a lot of money, but eighty five is even bigger. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Money talks, man. Mm. In the world of business, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Activision is already big as it is already. I mean, they got Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, uh, Starcraft, and Candy Crush, right? I think, uh, of course, I, I, I Ablo, Diablo, right? But now you add... You add... Batman, you had Batman, Spider-Man, and Superman to the mix. Yeah, along along with Rocksteady, Netherrealm Studios, and WB. Hmm. Remember, remember when um, uh, AT and T had put out uh, put out uh, Rocksteady, WB Games. Let's see, and Netherrealm Studios on the table for $5 billion. Remember that? And that was right after uh, Microsoft had just bought uh, Zenimax Bethesda for seven point five. Hmm. Huh? Yeah. Makes you wonder why Sony never went after that. You know? instead, of, instead, instead of sitting there worried about Call of Duty. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. But Activision would be a would have would been a would have been a power would been would have been a powerhouse company if that would have happened. Eighty five billion. Yeah. Mm. That's 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 that would been a, that would have been that would have been huge. You know. Eighty four eighty five billion man. But to buy Time Warner. If the 80, 85 AT and T, eighty five billion AT and T deal offer fell through, wow. There's um, hmm, <clears> hmm. <throat> you know that put things into probably puts put things in perspective now, and it might have explained why Sony um was it uh, when it got, uh, made Spider Man exclusive to uh, to PlayStation. Just saying. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Was ready to buy Time Warner if the eighty-five billion AT&T deal offer fell through. Hmm. And that's when Activision was at their peak too. Hmm. Especially with World of Warcraft, the amount of money they made out of that, and Starcraft, and Candy Crush. Yeah. <laughs> Activision had money to spend then. Hmm. They were ready to b buy Time Warner if the eighty-five billion AT&T deal offer fell through. Hmm. Yeah. But that, and then this is a. Uh, says here. The plan went beyond games, though Activision wanted to do something more along the lines of cross-adaptation strategies that Sony employs between its PlayStation Studio and an IP and PlayStation Picture Unit, complete with Marvel Spider-Man licensing thrown in, Activision Blizzard was ready to buy Time Warner if the $85 billion AT&T deal, AT deal fell through. <laughs> yeah, they would be. They they would have. They would have been a huge, a, a big gaming studio, man. Mm. Yeah, and that's a lot of lot. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of people to um to 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 have an employer under your belt and making sure that everything runs straight. You know? Yeah, but yeah, the deal didn't fall through. So um, you know um. game industry went on, you know, but now Sony owns Spider-Man, and, um, yeah, that's 
video games for you. <laughs> but yeah. Microsoft now owns Activision Blizzard and they're trying to get the uh, get the deal um appealed. You know, they, you know, and um yeah. They own Activision Blizzard right now, so they pay sixty eight point seven billion. Think Microsoft is like a trillion dollar company, so if 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 Activision Blizzard would have bought, um, <laughs> if they would have bought, uh, what did I say they bought? If they if they bought uh, um, AT and T, yeah, they would have been a powerhouse, man. Microsoft would have to double and triple their money to try to even purchase. Activision, if they were even that bigger, man. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that's business for you, man. Then he says, we take your IP and turn into games. They take our IP and turn into television. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we thought the 68.7 billion was something, but 85 billion, <laughs> that's a bigger number, you know. But hey. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what the. Uh, I wonder what the FTC or the or the CMA would have tried to do then. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, but other than that, man, that's the news I got. A report on this, man. You know, about this. Uh, this little news about Activision. Yeah, they were. They were. They were riding high too. I mean, they had. They, I mean, Call of Duty is one thing. But then you, you, th you throw a World of Warcraft and Candy Crush into the mix, man. Yeah, yeah, they were, um, yeah, they, they, they were getting, they were making money then. Eighty-five billion? Probably would have happened. Anyway, my well, latest video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still, Star Wars and Star Trek. Dark Side. Go. Peace.